Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add Instaband correctly and so that it works to your Gorilla Tag copy. Now, the last tutorial I made, I only did half of it and it didn't work. So today I'm just going to be teaching you guys the rest and it should work. So first things first, you want to go into your assets right here and type in Gorilla Score Board. And then you should see these three. Click on the first one and it should say Gorilla Player Scoreboard Line. You just want to open that. Yours will look different, it's because I've already done this. But what you want to do is you just want to click Control and A, and then it should highlight all of it. And then just click Delete. And then paste in the Instaband script in my Discord. You, it should be in the description. You just want to go down to Instaband script, get this which is named Instaband DN Spy. Download it and then copy all of it and paste it in here just like so. And then click this little save icon and exit out of it. It should load a little but that's fine. And then what you need to do is you need to go into your playfab, scroll down to where your game is. So I'm just gonna do like for example this one right here. And then you wanna go down to your automation, click on it then you want to go to your revisions legacy control a all of this and then click delete then go back to my discord and download the instabland playfab.txt you just want to download that and then you want to open it should give you this control a and then control c and then go back to your playfab and paste it in here and don't save it yet because there are still a few things we have to do. First things first, go back to your Discord. Your Discord server, not mine. And then you want to scroll all the way up or just anywhere. Right click, create channel, and then name it reports. I already have mine right here. And then you want to name it reports so you know what it is. And then click this little scroll wheel. Go to integrations. View webhooks new webhook and then you want to name this like reports or something and then you can change it if you want to like the 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 profile picture I already made one and then click copy webhook URL after that go back to your d to your playfab and then right here where it says var URL you just want to copy all of this and then you want to make sure everything's highlighted except for these quotation marks and then click control V and then it should paste yours in and then do this for every other one you see so I'm just gonna speed this up real quick okay so make sure to not do these var dot URLs it should be just like a there there are ones that are just like really short like this one don't do these just do the ones that are really long like these and continuously paste your discord discord API webhook thing into there and make sure to not leave a single letter out or leave a single letter in from the last webhook. Then what you want to do is you want to click save as revision 2, deploy, and save and deploy. Then go back to your players, click search so all of the, your players pop up, and then you just want to find you, click on yourself, and then you want to find master player account ID, Ho copy all of this, and then go back to your automation revisions and then right here where it says hosts IDs in these little quotation marks you wanna control V so it's like this and then this is very important if you wanna add more than just one what you need to do is you just need to add a comma space and then add your next one that's all you need to do and that's also all you need to do to do your playfab and instaband working so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to save, deploy and save, and then save and deploy. And then your game will have Instaband working, and it will also send reports to this channel right here. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and make sure to have a great day, and peace out.